Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to part 41 of Let's Play Starpoint Gemini Warlords where we're in, currently in the grind for um, the Dreadnought. Uh, let's have a look. So this is the Dreadnought we're going for, the Praetorian. Hey, let's do some comparisons. It's um, double as good as me. It's bigger, better, beautiful. Just everything about it is great. Uh, it says we can sell our ship for 6 million, but uh, when, I, when I sold my, um, my cruiser to get to the Paladin... Uh, we sold it for it. It seems like it was a lot more. So, like, yeah. So, I mean, look at the. I must admit, all of the Baldur Republic ships, other than, I mean, I think the Tsar is the only one I'm not too fussed about. But they all look pretty nice. So we'll get, let's get some hunting, some more veterans in, because that hunting is basically the only way we're making money right now. So we'll continue on with that. And, uh, yeah, everything should be great. It should be glorious. It should be awe-inspiring. I mean, I'm just thinking of things to say right now. I have no clue. But once we get the uh, Dreadnought, we're probably going to just basically take over all of the um, space we can. Uh, because that's all we needed to do. Initializing scan. Like, what we're going to do is we're going to take over here and probably go after the Nexus. It's the AMP bomb this bitch. And there is a fucking carrier. i let my guys go in first because carriers are a pain in the ass to fight. As far as I'm concerned, anyway, they're a pain in the ass. Like, if I could go against, like, a Dreadnought instead, I would. Luckily, it's not a Warmaster. If it's a Warmaster, I honestly do prefer Dreadnoughts, but... I mean, carriers, the only thing that really gives a problem is the, like, the ships they carry. Which is one reason I actually want to want a carrier. Like, if I was to, I, if I was to get a carrier, it means I could, con like, I could, um, hold off enemy carriers pretty easily. Because I just fill it up with interdictors. Oh, sorry, interceptors, interdictors are what you pull people out of space in. And I've been watching way too much Star Wars, ladies and gentlemen, so please ignore me. But, yeah. An interdictor or something like that would be very good for us. Interceptor! Yeah, I'd just fill it with interceptors, like that's what I was saying, and then we'd basically just blow the living fuck out of our enemy. Because, well, they wouldn't be able to do anything else. Because all their fires would get interdictory down. Of course, we'd have to buy the millions of pounds worth of one. Or it's not exactly gonna be. It's not exactly knowing it's gonna be great. But hey, what can you do? So we've made uh, we've made ourselves up to thirty million. So. We, we just need another hmm, double that. So yeah, it's going to be a long, long road. I think it's going to be probably maybe as maybe longer than it took to get me the uh, battleship. But I mean, as we're doing constantly doing veteran missions, I don't think it will be. Uh, we want. I want to make sure I've got stocked up on my light repair drones, and we'll lock, stock up on some damage amplifiers. That'll do for now. Get ourselves a job. Ah, and yes, Warmaster. See, Warmasters, they offer like four to five million. Three to four, five million, which is honestly just heaps better for us. And it offers us a decent payoff for a, um, a admittedly a hard mission, but a, a worthwhile mission. Most definitely. Right, I've got... I'm doing all the missions I can, and they're just, it's not helping. Give me new, less shit. I like how you spend, I like, I've just realized the gas missions, you spend gas to get gas. That is very counterintuitive. Although it makes some sense. No, 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 no. Too close, damn it. It's going to make me move. Sometimes I hate this game. But then again, I remember it's like a, it's space and I like space, so. Oh, thank God it's a Dreadnought. See, Dreadnoughts have the one good thing about they're not, they're not a pain in the ass. I mean, they do a great ton of damage, but they're, they're like, they're not, a pain in the ass. Like they're just—they're easy to predict. 
and they don't have annoying fighters causing you the most damage. Like, carriers literally are just their ships on them that are causing them all the fucking pain. Right, I'm going to fire this gun myself because I know that if I fire, it fires a lot more. The AI does like a burst, whereas if I click, as you can tell, I'm shooting a lot faster, which means we're doing a lot more overall damage. At the moment, they are, of course, keeping themselves at 95%, but eventually they will come to a point where they can't keep their shields up the best to their abilities. Which will which you can tell is going to happen because they start getting weak like this. This is just a sign of their impending doom. Now, I don't focus on the uh, other ships I get come here because I know for a fact that just destroying the veteran alone is bad. Well, better for business, shall we say. Because, well, the destroyers, the, the, the dread, enemy dreadnought is kind of like the ship you need to beat. The other ships, yeah, you, you'll end up killing them because they're there, but always focus on the dreadnoughts or big ships in general. Because, well, they don't need to live, and you're getting paid a shit ton of money to destroy them, so why not focus on the payoff before um, annoying little ships? Because as long as you've got a fleet with you, your fleet will deal with the other guys for you. I can't think of any way, to, ladies and gentlemen, that I think about it, to play this without having a fleet at your back. Like, if you try to play this game with just your ship, I mean, it's going to be a long-ass grind. We will remember no, you won't. The job is done. Stop lying. Done. There it is. 3.8 million. I, corset. I just more made more money there than I did most of last part, ladies and gentlemen. No, that's not that. Yeah, most around about three quarters, three like two thirds of last part is how much we just made like straight away. So basically, we're doing pretty good, and I'm gonna actually invest in some more uh, medium repair drones as a as a yay I made money type deal. They cost 480 grand. You know, let's get ourselves. Let's just stock up on everything. If I stock up now, I'd have to stock up later. Still have to rearm, but I'm not going to bother because I don't need to. I don't personally do like the game will think I need to, but unfortunately, we have to go back to veterans now. You're good to go. Am I? Am I really, though? Yeah, the Archangels, we've lost quite a few destroyers, but. Like, if you think about it in the long run, it's like, well, and it's, it's really worth what you. Like. As long as you do it right, it's worth what you're spending, so... I ain't gonna complain. Well, then again, I'm gonna get a Dreadnought out of this. Why the fuck am I gonna... Why the fuck would I complain? That's like... It's just dumb. Who complains about that? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna tell them to join me. I don't give a fuck how they get here. Oh, yeah, 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 one minute, um... Bastard, uh... Make a deal so I can make cheap ships. Uh, build ships. Okay, so we need, uh... Six destroyers. Can I, can I get that? I can get four. Engaging Get to the mission. Oh, for some reason I was focused on Nika there, which made... Okay, so I've pressed something which has now fucked up my controls. I don't like this. There we go. Okay, my controls have gone back to normal. Well, they, they never changed. It's just I clicked on the wrong cam uh, map camera mode, whatever you want to call it. Please, please, please just be a fucking just dreadnought. <sighs> I swear, fucking what, veterans are trying so hard just to be a pain in the ass at this point. Like, they're just thinking to themselves, how can we be the biggest cunts in existence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shields at 50%. Like, I care. I've got shit to do. Like, boost it like a boss. I must admit, little fires are a pain in the ass, but there we go. 
done that. Let's go home. Affirmative. Change I'm now uh, leveled up. Did I get a uh, perk? I did. The problem is I don't have any perks. I, well, I have not got a Dreadnought familiarity. Let's get that. Now when I use a Dreadnought, I'll be awesome. Well, more awesome, shall we say. More awesome. Yeah, more. Uh, large derelict? Yes, please. Or... Mind if I do? Need one more destroyer, and our uh, current amount of destroyers will be worth what we needed a minute ago. So it tells me my fleet is going to keep getting wrecked, which amuses me and annoys me at the same time. Because I have to keep rebuilding it. But hey, what can you do? Shit happens. Shit's going to continue happening no matter what you want. So just it's going to ruin your day. Just accept it. I find it amusing that Nike is always the one that flies in their thing. Also, this is number is wrong. This is the one we should be looking at. So we're only making 815 um, materials. Which I'm kind of upset this is lying to me. Because I wish I was making that many materials. And we just made about 8 grand there on our... Um, we made enough to rearm from uh, that shitty little shit. And Warmaster. Oh, yes. See you again soon, Captain. Safe travels. Four million. I'm looking forward to this. There we go. All the cruisers have been built. How much are frigates again? We can build one of them. We'll build some more later. It's all good. So this is the only problem is the Nexus keep donating to me, which is what I'm, which is kind of stopping me from wanting to murder them viciously with a fucking spike. Because if they, they're paying for me, why why should I invade them? Like, it makes no sense. Like, if Baildor loses space again, I'm going to try and take over here. But other than that, yeah, just going to... Materials for ore. Now, if I had a lot of materials, I'd do that. So, but other than that, no, I'm not going to bother doing that. That's just a waste of my materials then. I'm not going to get new too near to these fuckers, because that way it means I'll be too near to the uh, other shit when it shows up. See? Oh, fuck. This is a problem. See, now, now one thing, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to mention is that is a problem. When the War Master's a carrier, life just doesn't like you. I can promise that one. Constant turning isn't going to save me. Because they're going to be every angle they want to be at, no matter what I want. This is why I kind of want interdictors, because I know this wouldn't be as much of a problem. And by as much, I mean it would still be a pain in the ass, but it wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. They're not letting me rebuild my shields up, which is a pain. Which means we may have to actually withdraw from this fucking pay, like a massive pay of a mission. If I can't uh, keep my income or my shields up. Buff to the shields and buff to my health. Um, the best we can do. And holy fuck, did they just call in? Oh fuck me, you called them the battleship? You are cunt. Like, you're a shit person game. Like, holy fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of my shields is completely down game. Do you think I'm caring at this point? There we go. I should be able to keep my shields in some fucking hell. There's two battleships now. You know what? Focus on there. I, I can't believe I broke my own rule focusing on, by not focusing on the main ship. But holy fuck, we should be able to win really quickly if we focus on him. Oh, there we go. I got paid. That's what I care about. So now we can destroy these motherfuckers over here who are um, ripping apart one of my battleships. Alright, fuck that cruiser. He don't deserve to live. Target 
That, ladies and gentlemen, is how, what you can what his stress is best known as. Changing course. Cause uh, let me tell you, that was stressful. Yeah, we got a large derelict. There we go. So very very close to upgrading the hub. But yeah, look, I'm definitely gonna get a battleship before the game gives me lets me recruit them for my fleet. Destroyer, sorry. Nope, nope, not even a destroyer. Dreadnought. There we go. Words. Although we are going to have to pay for this shield, this uh, hold up. Thank you. Jesus Christ. There we've got a veteran to hunt. Uh, for now, I'm ha kind of happy with that. We may have to upgrade ourselves to these, which will cost us 800 grand. And heavy shield boosters, which 120 grand isn't too bad. But. You take what you can get, really, let's be honest. Engaging sublight. Alright. We've got all our fleets are busy, so we can't send any missions out. We do need to take this before someone else does, so. We're on a collision course. Again, game, you're lying. There we go. Right, we should be far enough away for the game to stop being a cunt about where I'm flying. So we've got two cruisers coming in. To buff the Archangels back up to about 27, uh, 26k. Which is where they need to be. Um, yeah, I think taking out the Revenant is not going to be too hard. Uh, if I, I don't know if I can conquer stuff that's across space from it. No, you must be able to. You must be able to. So I think I may just go attack the rogues. Take out the rogues. Like, so if I, I think if I declare war on the rogues it will actually be fine. But, HQ like, we're not going to bother worrying about that until we've taken out all the land near us. But hopefully we're able to take it out because, holy crap, that would be useful for us. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is probably be a... Uh, Carrier. Just because the game hates me. There we go. Got to get our. Um... There we go. You know what? We're not even close enough to use that. There we go. I still think that does nowhere near enough damage. Just, that should do more damage. I feel like I definitely should do more damage. I'd like to keep my ship in one piece, thank you. Well, you can't. So fuck off. And have I been proven right? Let's see. Of course I fucking was. It's always a fucking carrier. Well, I'm just gonna... Don't mind me. I'm gonna just uh, go the complete opposite way to... Ah, oh, fucking no, I'm not. This is a fucking war veteran. I'm not gonna waste my time caring enough about this. If it was a fucking war master, I might actually try and care, but... I mean, veterans ain't gonna do jack shit enough to annoy me. Uh, we're going to focus on that. These bombers, little bombers though, are going to do my... I can just see them doing my entire fucking head in. As long as they're focusing me though, they're not focusing on my allies. Which means my technically my fleet is getting away scot-free. There we go. We will remember this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting paid. I don't give a fuck. So, yep. Destroyers need their um, big destroyer fix. So as soon as that's ready, we'll, we'll bring it down. But we've got a million for that, so we're, we're, we're going to break 40 million this part. Because we're going to do one more mission. Which means we can just, we're going to just break 40 million this part. Which is going to be awesome. Because who doesn't like having a shit ton of money? I mean, if you can tell me someone, I'm going to call them a cunt because I don't believe them. Uh, yep, all missions, get it done. Although, I'm not going to lie, we do not seem to get anywhere near enough ore from these ore missions, so... I may have to invest my time in other missions. Such as getting myself some, uh... Materials. Oh, those materials... I must admit, those materials missions probably are going to be worthwhile. Like, sending, sending materials and getting back other stuff in, like, uh, response. 
Yep, yeah, we've got one more veteran to hunt this part. With the job. So let's get that shit done. Because he needs to die. Right, uh, let's get some gas again. No, I don't want fucking gas. Gas, we've got way too much of as it is. You know what? Gonna get rid of 2,000 ore because it means I should get three times the amount. Obviously, not obviously including the fee. Reducing, if we get rid of the fee, we should get a lot of material. We should get just enough, near enough materials to actually uh, upgrade our, our hub. Oh, I thought this was gonna be less of a pain in the ass. The game lied to me. Decided to bring as many assholes to the fucking pie as it could. I guess I'm lucky that I have an amazingly strong fleet. There's the vet. And it's a motherfucking carrier. Hey, come here a minute, mate. Come here. I just need to tell you to fuck off. Shield booster, because I'm going to get my shield shot to shit in a minute. By the asshole AI's motherfucking little minions who are going to piss me the fuck off as usual. But other than that, we should be fine. It is. That was a quick kill. We will remember this. Let's go home then. There we go, level 33. What do we get? Well, we've maximized the upgrade of our um, precision shot, which means we may as well work, as, work on uh, the hollow decoy so it actually starts shooting at people. So level 10, we've got that up to. We didn't get any perks, so... Oh well. My fleet upgraded at all? Like my guys? Battleship, battleship, battleship. So the, maybe level 35, they'll put themselves into destroyers. I don't actually know, but let's hope. But yeah, once we get back to Baeldor, it's going to hit the end of the pilot, ladies and gentlemen. So that's unfortunate, but oh well. We made ourselves, I think, about 27 million, I think. I don't actually know how much we made. I, I, no, sorry, it's 17 million. I know we made a lot of money this last, this part. But anyway, let's jump, we're going to have to inspire. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next part. See you guys then.